hello guys welcome to see learning with new video in this video we will learn about ipv4 over ipv6 network suppose we have a two network two branches this is the ipv4 branch a and this is the ipv4 branch ipv4 means uh, in this branch in this network we are running ipv4 ip addresses and uh, here in this branch branch b as well we are running uh, ip uh, v4 uh, network ips but our core network uh, over the internet is the ipv6 network so how uh, we want uh, go over the internet and communicate with our another branch or uh, over the internet how to uh, map the ipv4 over ipv6 so uh, in this video we will learn about how to uh, run ipv4 packets over ipv6 network so let's go toward the configuration suppose we have a branch a and branch b and uh, this is the core network so we will uh, communicate branch a with branch b over ipv6 network so we create a virtual tunnel like uh, uh, we create gre tunnel and ipsec tunnel this is the virtual tunnel end to end between uh, this is the router a ar1 which is the branch edge router and uh, this is the uh, branch b gateway router so uh, this tunnel created between these two uh, routers and uh, this is the virtual tunnel uh, it means that it is virtual uh, but actual uh, the packets will go through this path so this is the uh, virtual tunnel so uh, let's go toward the configuration so uh, first of all uh, we configure the core network we give the ip addresses so these ip addresses uh, i will give to this core so this is the different ip this core network and then we communicate the core network then we uh, give the ip address to branches and then we create the uh, tunnel so uh, let's go toward configuration of ipv6 so you know first of all we have to enable ipv6 globally so ipv6 now we go in interface g so you can see here this is the g001 the above interface g001 one and uh, ipv6 we will enable ipv6 in interface as well so now we give ipv6 address uh, which is 3001 and double colon one one on this interface and uh, two on this interface and 64 is the mask you can say mask prefix now we give the ip address now we go here and uh, we just go here system view now we enable ipv6 globally now we go in interface g00 000 which is this interface g000 and ipv6 enable ipv6 address is 3001 double colon 2 and 64 64 now we go in second interface g001 which is this interface we give have another network ipv6 enable ipv6 address is uh, uh, 3002 and double colon 1 oh, sorry 2 2 and uh, 64 so uh, here in system view ipv6 and interface g 0 slash 0 slash 0 this is 0 slash 0 slash 1 so uh, we go here in 1 1 ipv6 enable and ipv6 address 3002 double colon 1 and 64 64 now i have given the ip address so uh, this is not directly connected so we have to run the uh, routing protocol so how to run writing routing protocol over uh, uh, ipv6 network so i have made the previous videos where i have uh, run the ospf version 3 for ipv6 so you can go and watch the video so i will run here the ospf version 3 on all the uh, interface so you can see here this is the 3001 colon double colon 1 and this is the 3002 double colon 1 so these two router will not uh, ping each other reachable uh, to each other because uh, there is a hop between them and uh, there is no any routing protocol running so so i will show you ping 3002 double colon 1 so you can see here sorry ping ipv6 ping ipv6 so you can see here these two are not reachable so uh, we run a routing protocol so how to run writing routing protocol over ipv6 so uh, first of all you have to uh, enable ospf v3 1 and here you have to give the router id this is the optional but it's a good practice to give the router id 
to router so i am giving this 1.1.1 because this is router 1 and now we go back now we go here in interface the, we just uh, uh, enable the ospf v3 here ospf v3 and uh, this is the router id now uh, we go here in interface g001 and just uh, give uh, tell this interface that you are the part of ospf v3 and the area so i am uh, putting all this router in area 0 so you can use different areas so but i am using all these three router are in area 0 because uh, we are uh, we have our configuration to ipv4 over ip6 not the ospf v3 area so i have made the video of ospf v3 area so you can go and watch the video so interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 1 on this interface so here just uh, put a command ospf v3 1 and area 0 so this is the ospf to you configure the ospf routing protocols this is very simple to uh, configure routing protocol in ipv6 so uh, here also ospf v3 1 and then we give the router id router id and 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2. we just go back in both interfaces g000 which is this interface and ospf v3 1 and area 0 we go in interface g001 as well and run the same command this ospf v3 area 0 and here we go in router 3 we are in now router 3 we just so you can see here if you uh, will not enable ospf v3 in a uh, system view so you will not be able to like i am writing here ospf v3 uh, 1 and area 0 it will give the error because you, you do not enable and make made the ospf globally so just give the command ospf v3 and create ospf globally and then the router id router id now you will go in interface and we will be able to give the command ospf v3 area zero so this is the command so now it will not give any error so i have configured routing protocol ospf v3 in core network we i did not enable routing pro protocol here because this is the part of ipv4 network so uh just ping this interface with this interface let's ping ping ipv6 uh 3002 double colon 1 so it will reachable 3 double colon 2 and you can see here this is reachable from this point to this point it is reachable so now we give the ip address to this ipv4 interface then we make tunnel so i have already give the ip address to pcs so you can see here uh, 10 dot 160 168 10 dot 1 is the gateway for both 10 dot 1 and here is 20 dot 1 is gateway for both so i will go quickly interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip address is 192 192 168 10 dot 1 and the 24 24 just go back just go here in router 3 in interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip address is the 192.168.20.1 gateway so i have given the route uh, uh, give the ip address to this interface so this interface is reachable till 192.168.10.1 is gateway is reachable so beyond gateway it will not communicate because uh, there, there is a ipv6 network so ping uh, 3 double colon 1 double colon 1 so it will not be reachable so you can see here 3 double colon 1 uh, is not reachable so we have to enable uh, a tunnel over to uh, map the communication between branch a to branch now uh, we will uh, so you can ping here uh, 20.2 ping 192.168.20 dot 2 which is the ip address of this pc 20.2 it will not be reachable so we make a communication uh, we make a, a tunnel between these two router and these two uh, branches will able to communicate with each other over uh, ipv6 network so we'll go here and create a tunnel interface tunnel interface the configuration is similar to a gre tunnel so here we select the tunnel protocol ipv4 to ipv6 so you can see here so now we give a ip address so uh, remember one thing uh, now we are communicating 
IPv4 over IPv6 so tunnel IP would be IPv4 network if uh, here branch A is IPv6 network and branch B is also IPv6 network but the core network is IPv4 so uh, uh, to communicate branch A to branch B uh, the virtual IP or the tunnel IP would be IPv6 now the branch IPs uh, branch networks are IPv4 network so tunnel IP would be IPv4 so IP address the core uh, tunnel IP would be IPv4. So uh, IPv4, any IP of IPv4, any. So you can give, I am giving 10.10.10.1 on this side. So this is the IP. So the source interface is, uh, so you select the physical source interface. So we are uh, making a tunnel from this point to this point over the uh, IPv6 network. So I will give the physical uh, interface IP address. So it, source means the physical interface of IP address so uh, so you can see here uh, g001 I have given the 3001 double colon 1 so I am giving here 3001 double colon 1 so this is the source and the destination so you will select the destination so uh, 3 double colon 2 double colon 1 so this is the destination IP address so same so you can see here the tunnel is now up so same do the same configuration here so the interface uh, our tunnel interface 0 slash 0 slash 1 and IP address would be 10.10.10.2 on this side so I have I use the 10.10.10.1 network over the channel so just remember and the source uh, tunnel protocol now we will select tunnel protocol is the IPv4 over IPv6 so now we select uh, source so here the source is this interface so 3002 double colon 1 and the our destination is uh, 3001 double colon 1. So you can see here the tunnel is now up from this side as well. So now we can ping the tunnel from one point to another point 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2. So this is the this edge and now I will so you can see here. So now let's uh, see either this communication is enabled now or not. So just so communication is not enabled why because uh, we did not set any routing protocol so you can see here this is one router this is another, another router when there is two router uh, so you have to uh, run any routing protocol so i will run a static route so it's simple to give a, a static route because there are only two routers so, so just give the a static route so i will give the static route here so remember when you are giving the static routes over the uh, tunnel so uh, you have to give the tunnel interface so ip route static route static means now here we have to give the destination destination means this destination so if you want to go on this uh, 192.168.20.0 network go through this tunnel not through this physical interface go through this tunnel so uh, i am giving 192 192.168. 20.0's network 20.0's network and 24 is the subnet mask of that network so go through this channel 0 slash 0 slash 0 so just go here in this router do the same IP route static so if you want to go here on this network we are uh, standing here so we are telling that router if you want to go on this network just go through this tunnel interface so 192.168.10.0.24 tunnel 0 slash 0 slash 1 so just go through this channel so now this communication would be uh, enabled so just wait you can see here now the communication from branch A to branch B is successful now 3 so so 3 is this router so if we trace the route so you can see here the physical path is this but the traffic going through uh, this uh, uh, tunnel so how we can uh, confirm that the traffic is going through this channel so just take the trace route of destination trace rt 192.168.20.2 which is this pc so i am giving that what is the uh, hops between uh, this pc to this pc so just go okay so you can see here now here uh, 10.1 first network is 10.1 so this is the gateway now and the second IP is 10.10.2 which is this hop this interface IP uh, virtual uh, tunnel interface IP and the third one is 
uh, 20.2 which is this destination IP so you can see here so our data is passing so this tunnel so trace route is uh, coming from this channel so this is confirmed that the tunnel is working over IPv6 core networks so this how uh, IPv4 over IPv, uh, IPv6 network work so hope you like the video uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, thank you very much